Welcome to, to Enable. In this short video, we're simply going to try and answer the question, what is a to Enable digital library or hub? We often refer to the to Enable digital library as a hub. And simply what it is is a computer. And obviously the higher the specification, the faster it can deliver content. So if you've got a fairly high spec computer at your school, we can load the to Enable um, program onto, it's actually a, a virtual machine onto your, onto your computer and what that'll do is it'll automatically update itself every night. So it's really just a basic, a simple computer which, which has a, an ability to update itself on a daily basis. It needs to be obviously connected to a, a Wi-Fi or local area network in order for the to enable application to find it and to access it. So it can simply be added to an existing school local area network or it can be set up as a standalone device. It requires an internet connection and it needs us for two things. The first is to give users access to online assessments and the second is to allow the digital library itself to keep itself up to date. So on a daily basis it will update any changes to the library. And what, that, what this means is users can access an up-to-date set of content on a daily basis. So the internet connection is fairly important. If there's not one, it will not keep itself up to date. So um, from time to time it'll be important to connect it to an, an internet connection so it can update itself. And finally the fourth thing is the users connect their devices and it could be a computer, a tablet, smartphone to the school local area network and the to enable application which is running on that device will then find the to enable digital library. So the benefits of this include a significant saving on data because you are accessing local content rather than accessing content over the internet and users can download content off the, the library onto their device. So this allows them to take it home and review the content at home and it also allows them to view, view it in real time and offline. So the offline is not using data. Data is a, a fairly important um, issue when it comes to many users access to digital devices. So this is our solution. It's an introduction to uh, our content. This is an Intel content access point which we have upgraded and um, what it has is it has built-in Wi-Fi it has a built-in SIM card so it actually can connect to the internet directly so you don't need to connect it to any other device to connect it to the internet and uh, it has a built-in battery so you can see this picture has no, there are no cables connected to this device so it can operate in a classroom without electricity and it is small and portable so it can be easily carried around it's the size of a dinner plate literally so um, to, to make it even simpler what there is, is this is a full-blown computer, but there is no screen and keyboard. So it's a simple on-off button to switch it on. You press the button to switch it off, you press the button. It has a built-in 3G, 4G, or LTE. They're different models, but that light there is providing, is showing that uh, it is connected via, in this case, it's LTE. And um, it also has a Wi-Fi access point. So literally everything you need is in this single unit and um, this is our introduction to a digital library the to enable basic to the basic to enable digital library so to show you in terms of a of a video just to get some sense of it in, in more than one dimension there's obviously a flashing light to show that you have wi-fi is on and uh, at the back of the device there's a port for a local area network so you can connect it to an existing network, a USB connector and there's a power connector that has an external uh, charger. The flashing light is there showing that we have Wi-Fi on. The solid light is the fact that it's connected to the internet using the SIM card that, is built, that has been inserted into the device. And if I take you to the next video, this is an uh, alternative where we do not have an internal SIM card, but the device is connected to an existing um, router and the router is connected to the internet. So this router is providing internet access and it's connected to the device itself. So what you notice here is the light is off, but however we do have Wi-Fi access. So users connect to the library and then f through the library they connect to the internet. And the library uses the internet to update itself. Give an idea of its depth, it's, a, it's probably two or three centimeters deep, so it's literally slightly deeper than a dinner plate itself. 
again the same view and then here it's there's a power lead going into it and there is a LAN cable which is connecting it to this router. Now this router is connected to the internet using that cable and you can see there it is connected to the router and this combination is illustrating what really happens likely at a school. So there's an existing school network and we're able to connect this device into an existing school network. So users have one of two choices. They can either connect directly to the to the to enable library or they can connect to the existing school network and through the school network they can connect to the school library. So it's a simple plug and play device. And I hope that simply explains what a to enable digital library is. Uh, it can in fact be a, a full-blown computer where we, we load a virtual machine that, which um, hosts all our content and it can be sitting in your server room at your school. But obviously if your school has that, it only applies to schools with a high level of, of inter, inter, IT infrastructure. But as an introduction to IT, just this box is, is enough to get you as a school up and going in the digital domain. I hope that has been of interest.